Hey, Stola Hansen here. In this video, we're gonna talk about tasks and steps in Microsoft To Do. Here is what I'm talking about. A task in Microsoft To Do is not a task really, it's a goal. And the moment that Microsoft To Do got steps where I could create actions for my goals, that's when I switched from OneNote to Microsoft To Do. What do I mean about a task not being a task? Well, typically you get a goal. That is what you create a task as. For instance, Microsoft 365 project, that's a goal, running that project. Under there, I probably have a couple of steps I need to go through in order to reach my goal. And that's where we create actions. David Allen in Getting Things Done, had a great way to specify what an action is. Defining clearly the actions for a goal is essential in any efficient productivity system. What does this mean? What does this look like? Well, I believe you have two type of tasks in to do. One is where we get that goal or we get that reason for why we made the task. The source could be Teams, it could be verbally from someone, it could be an email, it could be from wherever. And the best way to do this is to have that task, that goal, and then go in and do a brain dump for five minutes on all the steps that you need to go through in order to reach that goal. For instance, in my Microsoft 365 starter project, I probably have a couple of actions I need to go through like call Bob and learn why we are doing this project. Who are we doing this for? What's the goal of the project? What are the success factors? And then probably I need to install Visio because I have a newly installed computer. So it needs to be installed in order for me to do my designs. Then I need to plan deploying Microsoft 365. And this is a small project. It's uh, for an SMB customer maybe. And maybe I am the sole person doing this job. So I need to plan days for where I'm, where I'm designing this, where I'm pitching this to the customer, where I'm pitching this internally as well as setting off time in my calendar in order to actually deploy what I need to do uh, to uh, get my Microsoft 365 project going. And by doing this brain dump once, every time you come back to that task, that goal, you know exactly the action you need to get done. Probably you have 10 minutes available. What takes 10 minutes? Call Bob maybe, or install Visio, or prep a license key, or uh, get started with my designs. The advantage of creating these actions is that it leaves you in control and it helps reduce stress because you don't have to keep that checklist in your head. You have not brain dumped that into the action, the goal which means that you don't need to reinvent the task every time. The second type of task is the brain dump. And this typically happens when I do not have enough time to organize my tasks in a good way, to capture them in a good way, because I have too much to do. Yes, it happens. And what happens when I have too much to do? I start brain dumping my tasks. So typically I call a task for October and then I have lots of different tasks I need to get done throughout October. These could uh, as well be goals I could have actions below but this is the next best thing. I still need to brain dump that and it still relieves stress. So it still helps so it's a good habit to build to brain dump your tasks for this week or next week or maybe you're on a Friday and you know that two things need to happen on Monday, this and this. So you dump it in there. But the moment you learn how to prioritize time in order to organize your tasks, sort them under lists, create actions for them, that's the best place to be in. But the next best thing is that brain dump. In order to succeed with tasks and goals and actions within Microsoft To Do, you need to learn how to build your list, how to combine it with Microsoft OneNote. 
and you need to know how to capture into Microsoft To Do. I go through that in this playlist and this video I talk about the list. So take a look. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.